that this is one of your favorite teams. Has this been your most challenging years managing just with the injuries and just the roster at the beginning compared to where it's at all for you? Um, no, no. I, I think that it's been my most uh, uh, my most exciting. Um, I think that challenging is is a term that you know you can define in a lot of different ways. Um, with the injuries, uh, you know, young guys coming up. I think on the surface it's challenging, but as a coach, that's pretty exciting because you get an opportunity to to teach young players, assimilate them with the club. Um, other years where uh, the dynamic is just not the same, I would argue that's more challenging than when guys are pulling for one another, um, playing just to win. And so that, for a coach, uh, is everything. Who has been your biggest advocate in that clubhouse or extension this year to get that message across? I would say uh, Mookie, Freddie, Jason, Rojas have probably been the, the guys that uh, have kind of taken a step maybe out of their comfort zone to make sure that everyone is uh, buying into what we're doing. What is a step out of their comfort zone? Well I, well, I think that, you know, players like to just focus on themselves and their performance, um, which they should. Um, but when you can take a step back and um, appreciate decision making that I have to make, coaches make, that's in the best interest of each individual and the team collectively, that's not always an easy conversation from player to player. Um, but those guys, to their credit, uh, have supported me, the coaches, um, uh, to the end, to the max. There's no player that doesn't want to be the guy. Um, but there's also a part of being the teammate and um, realizing that somebody else might be a little bit of a better option in that particular moment. And to uh, root on your teammate. And our guys do that across the board. Watching these guys, I guess, in a sense, uh, steps a little bit out of their comfort zone. I mean, you are in a position where you get to see them every day. How do you just see them evolve as individuals as well, not only as men on the field, but off the field as they step into a space? Um, just, I think it's got a space of maturation, to be honest. Yeah, it, it's, uh, it, it's been fun because uh, I really believe um, being a, a high character and high baseball IQ, wanting to learn, um, knowing what a good teammate is, it makes you a better baseball player. It does. Um, and to see our guys, we've got a good collection of those guys. And I think that we've raised the bar on um, not only talent, but just character in our organization. And now uh, it's a new bar, and, and it's going to be hard to realize as far as guys coming in. But uh, I, I like the, the way that the bar has been raised. When did you first start to see them like, step out of their comfort zone? Because I like, talked about Mookie's willingness to start bouncing on the infield, Jason being willing to be pitch hit for Freddie playing every day. Like, when did you start to see that start to present itself? Was that spring? or no, Numerous examples. Um, I heard a little incident where Jason you know, called a player out and said, this, we don't do things this way. Um, uh, Rojas, after a series, um, got the guys together in a, hit, in a hitters meeting and said that um, it was a good, after the Royal series. Uh, we got our butts handed to us in Kansas City, and he came back and um, addressed how we need to do the little things, play with more urgency. Um, I appreciated that. Um, you know, Jason Hayward getting pinch hit after hitting a three-run homer in Baltimore and not saying a peep. Um, you know, those are things that, for me, um, you know, Lance Lynn coming along and take the ball from him in the fifth inning, and he says, whatever you need, I'll be ready to go my next turn. And so those things that when you get veteran guys that do that, everyone has to follow.